Today we're covering an LH1. At the beginning of this video, as you can see, we're just going to kind of play around with a little bit in the testing grounds just to get a view of both the recoil pattern, kind of the damage profile. It's a great choice. It's a great gun. It's it's starting to get a lot more utilization in games. Uh, I think a lot of lights choose the SMGs more than anything. But this gun's a great medium. It has a really easy control pattern, as you can see, both for hip and aiming down sights. Uh, it's mostly just a straight pull up. If you're going to do hip fire, I'd recommend aiming a little lower as as the recoil pattern sits a little high. It easily can get rid of a light in two shots, medium in three, heavy in four with the, if you're just landing headshots there, which is really, really nice. Body shots can make it feel in some cases like crap. They only had one HP left and that, that can make it a little hard. Uh, some of the gameplay, you'll see me get them down to 1 HP and they'll just disappear on me. But if they're damaged at all, you know, that uh, that one extra shot that normally would just get them down to 1 HP for all the classes will turn it, of course, into, you know, a through 2 shot, 3 shot, 4 shot, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, this is a highly universal gun. Both You can both play long range and short range with it. It's a good defensive and offensive gun. It does have a little bit of bounce, which can be a little annoying, but main reticle uh, doesn't move much. It's just the, the ring, which has a lot of visual recoil, but it is an outstanding gun choice opposed to both a dagger and a sniper rifle. Those have a little bit more of a specific gun, specific play game style, I would say. Uh, this gun is a definitely a top three in my opinion, if not a top two. And so get out there, use it. Have fun. I'll see you guys in the finals. Sponsors, thanks for tuning in. And that's a wrap.